What's going on guys? Welcome to another edition of Gamer Logic and today we are stepping back in time to October 1998 to talk about the Metal Gear Solid demo CD. Another one of my favorite video game franchises is the Metal Gear franchise. I love that series. I was hooked on the original Metal Gear on the NES, loved its unofficial sequel, Snake's Revenge, on the same platform, and when I finally got access to the internet in the 90s, I was shocked to find out that there were two Metal Gear games that were released on a whole different platform. The original Metal Gear actually came from the MSX2 computer system, I believe, and it was while the same in several regards, very different than the NES port that I played. Even more surprising, there was a sequel, Metal Gear 2 Solid Snake, that never came out over here, and we wouldn't get to play it for years unless we either emulated it or played it on the Metal Gear Solid 3 bonus disc that came out with its re-release that allowed you to do 3D camera and stuff with it. Included in that disc was both Metal Gear 1 and Metal Gear 2 Solid Snake that you could play. Really awesome, but we have to go back to the 90s. And pretty much after 91, 92, when Snake's Revenge came out on North American shores, Metal Gear was a dead franchise. You didn't hear anything about it. Until 97, 98, when rumors started going around that a new Metal Gear game was on the horizon, Metal Gear Solid. Now, around probably the summer, spring, summer of 1998, because I just got out of grade school, I just passed eighth grade and was getting into high school. I went from this really small, like Christian school where for four years, I basically did fifth through eighth in a gym, a concrete gym. And uh, I was going to like my first big school instead of having like six students to graduate by the time i got done with my senior year i would have uh, over a couple hundred so that was a pretty new concept for me so um what did i do that summer well i enjoyed the crap out of my summer i went out every day and i played my playstation my newly acquired playstation like crazy playstation would put out these discs and i also had this uh, service you, you could subscribe to called the playstation underground and every so often i think they would put out a playstation underground cd that uh, you could pick up on retail shelves or i managed to get a hold of this via mail for some reason maybe they were sending mailers out but i got the spring summer edition of the playstation underground and on this PlayStation Underground disc was a trailer for Metal Gear Solid. I watched that trailer so many damn times. I was so excited that Metal Gear was coming back. And it was coming back in 3D. It looked so good. It took the concept and kicked it up so many notches. It was unbelievable. It was definitely one of my most anticipated games for 1998. And I believe in October we would finally get the full release of Metal Gear Solid on the PlayStation. But before that, before that would happen, we would get the official PlayStation Magazine issue 13. And this would come with a Metal Gear Solid demo. I went out to the newsstand, I grabbed the issue as soon as I could, and I got home and fired that up in my PlayStation. Man, was that exciting. How cool for so many different reasons that uh, we actually had these demo discs that we could play in the 90s. And of course, this wasn't anything new to PC gamers. PC gamers were getting demos all the time that they could download off the internet. But with the advent of discs, you could now have demo CDs to try out all this different stuff and get a taste of a game before it came out. Metal Gear being so exciting for me as a potential full game, I had to get that disc. So again, I popped it in and man, you're greeted to this unique cutscene, telling you the situation that Solid Snake is going to have to go in, he's gonna to have to go into this disposal facility, and he's going to have to potentially disarm these terrorists. 
and you learn about Foxhound, you learn about all the different members of Foxhound, and you are introduced to, of course, uh, Colonel Campbell and all of that different stuff. Um, you get that really cool title screen, you fire it up, you hit start, you hear that gunshot, and then eventually you're into the full game. Firing that up for the first time, um, I was impressed with the 3D graphics. I was impressed with the demo because the demo was a, not an early build, uh, but pretty close to being done. And as such, it did not have any of the English dialogue in it. The game was in English, but the dialogue was actually all the Japanese actors. So for me, my first introduction to the Metal Gear Solid series did not have David Hayter on there as the iconic voice of Solid Snake. Instead, it had a Japanese actor and a whole bunch of Japanese actors and actresses for all the other di dialogue for Liquid Snake, mind you, and the guards and stuff like that. Um, so. It was interesting because I've played that demo so many times where I just started picking up like small things of the Japanese language and how that works with the English language in terms of somewhat of a translation. So I actually learned a lot about Japanese just playing that demo. Very cool. Um, you know, coming into that disposal facility, you're swimming under, you get out, and you have your first. Uh, it's really your second Kodak conversation with Campbell and a few of the other characters that will support you throughout the journey. It just sets the tone. It sets the tone for this demo so well. And you finally get a chance to play with the controls and find out everything that Snake can do. And you crawl out from under this little container and you're trying to avoid these two guards. Or you're trying to go up to them and kick the crap out of them. Whatever you want to do. But running through those halls you're just kind of in this little warehouse and you're waiting for the elevator at the end to come down and go up so you can actually get to the main part of the disposal facility i played through that so much like okay this time i'm going to do a run where i don't kill the guards and i'm going to believe be completely stealthy or this next run i'm going to see how fast i can kill the two guards and wait for the next guard to come down and get up on that elevator but you get up on that elevator you're granted to this cool scene where snake starts taking off all his gear and you finally see that iconic solid snake that you were used to from seeing as a couple pixels as a kid so cool so cool and of course, after that scene, you're finally in front of the disposal facility where you learn about your radar, Mei Ling is introduced to you, and uh, the Hind D takes off, it ends up blowing up uh, two hornets in the air, and you're just running around this facility avoiding spotlights and avoiding guards. And finally, after you've picked up everything you could possibly do in the demo, you crawl into one of the ventilation shafts and you get that iconic to be continued at the end of the demo. Man, uh, that demo ended, I instantly restarted and played again and again and again and again. Um, that day was a, a, you know, a day in high school for me, freshman year, and uh, man, I, I never really dug school, I never definitely dug grade school, didn't dig high school. I remember the day being pretty crappy for me until I grabbed that demo disc and was just able to totally depart everything around me, get into Metal Gear, and have a blast. And uh, it goes without saying, when that game came into our video store, the full version in October, I rented it, we played it, we beat it. It was so much fun. So cool. And I think the first time I went through Metal Gear, actually, I did not have the DualShock controller. I played it with the regular controller that did not have the analog sticks. Going back and revisiting that game with all of its feature set that you could do with vibration was really cool. But... I guess we'll save my full tale of Metal Gear Solid for another episode. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed some of my memories going back to the Metal Gear Solid demo disc. It was certainly fun firing it up last night and playing it too to revisit all those memories. Thanks for watching, guys.